Hello and welcome back to West Brom Fan TV. Now, um, today uh, I've got a bit of a rumour video. So, um, there's been a few journalists who have came out and said that apparently we're looking and we're interested in signing um, Lucas Zhao from Reading. I think he's got the one year left on his contract and that's running down. So there's a possibility we could get him for quite cheap. Um, obviously, we're struggling a lot with goals at the minute. We've we've get so many shots every game. I think we have over we have over ten shots. Shots are practically most games at the minute. Fifteen against Cardiff. We had seven on target, and uh, none of them went in the back of the net. And it was boring, nil nil. And then you look at the Watford game. We had so many chances, but we just didn't nail them. We could have won that game by four five one. And then also the Middlesbrough one. Um, with one chance at the end up, I thought that Wallace probably should have either smacked it or squared it and instead he just passed into the keeper's arms. So the three big moments that have cost us. So this signing will hopefully it's gonna be some serious points as well as serious goals. Now he's a good player, this Zhao. Um I looked at his stats and um he's he scored a, a good amount of goals. I think last season he got ten, but he only made twenty four appearances, so that's not too bad. And the season before that he scored 19 in 34 appearances, which is top. That is a top, top return for a striker, especially at a team like Reading, because they're not necessarily the most uh, exciting team to watch and necessarily the team with the highest quality in uh, the midfield, providing the assists. But, um, yeah, I mean, also another big thing about Jao from what I've seen from his highlights is he's very good at like taking defenders on and showing a bit of physicality, um, like leading them in the wrong way and then just basically smashing it in the bottom corner. He looks very, very technically gifted. It's going to bring a bit of flair to the team. And hopefully it boosts Grant's play a bit better as well, because it gives him a bit of competition. Um, I do think, if we do sign him, that he will be starting every game until DK is back, because he's, he's just a top, top player from the looks of it. If we actually sign him and he's rubbish, I'm going to, eat, <laughs> I'm going to probably end up eating my own words. But he looks good. Looks like a great player. Um, but yeah, I've done the preview today also for the whole game. So check that one out as well in um, on the channel. But yeah, I'm, I'm like I said, you, if you watch the preview, you'll hear my thoughts now that I'm a bit negative about this whole game. But um, yeah, this is good news, if anything. So something to get relatively excited for. I mean, it's West Brom, it's lie. He don't spend a lot of money. So, yeah, I mean, he's scrounging off us. Never mind spending. He stole five million off us, pretty much, for his other businesses, which is just absolutely appalling, especially because we barely spent any money and the players we have brought in have been absolute garbage, apart from a couple. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to round it off there. I'm just going to basically say straight up, top signing he'd be. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Keep on liking and um, liking and subscribing, you know. Thank you. Up oh, the Albion, come on, you back.